Hey guys, this is John Phillips. It's been an interesting day for me. Uh, it's Monday. No work again. Well, I've got a couple of people called and scheduled me for the end of the week or the middle of the week, but the main thing that happened today was a friend of mine, when I got sick, uh, I sold off a lot of my shit. I sold off trucks and tractors and trailers, my Jetter trailer. And uh, this is the Jetter that I had. It's, uh, it's a portable, it's the biggest general Jetter they make that's portable. It's 3,000 PSI, eight gallons per minute. And uh, he called me up and he said, hey man, I'm retiring. And uh, he said, uh, I'm selling all my shit. And he said, and honestly, I just, I'd like you to have your, your Jetta back. So he called me up and I went and picked it up, man. It's been sitting for a little while, but I got it running today. Had to do a couple things, flush it out real good, clean some filters, put some fresh gas in it. Uh, but also what came with that is this trailer these two hose reels one is a supply lines it, it had 200 feet of hose on it i don't know how much is on there now it doesn't look like as much as there was when i gave it to them and then this uh is 200 feet of high pressure hose on the bottom and the jetter used to sit in here but i'm going to clean all this out and i'm actually going to put either new plywood uh, or some diamond plate in the bottom of this and paint these walls just to lighten it up a little bit I'm going to get rid of this shelf because it's just kind of a pain in the ass. It's very low very small trailer uh, But man am I happy to have my shit back man? It's it really sucks to be in a position where you know, you're You have to sell off your fucking identity because you may be dying, but other than the, the Jetter itself, the trailer, I also got my camera back, another one, this will make three that I have. This got 200 feet of cable in it. This is a Gen I3, this is an old dog, but uh, also got uh, these two hose reels from General, which are not cheap, man. When I bought this stuff, I think I bought it back in 2004, man. I spent between all the cameras that I bought and and the trailer, all that shit. I think I spent about forty-eight thousand dollars on on equipment to to uh, inspect houses for the builder I was working for. But uh, I'm pretty happy, man. It feels nice that some of my shit's coming home again. He put his name on it, but this was this was all my lettering the only difference is that used to say john phillips plumbing and he put his name on it that was my idea before and after and then the disclaimer results may vary <laughs> so i need to get my phone number put on it i need to clean it up i'll probably bring it somewhere it's kind of they kind of fucked it up a little bit but it's not bad. I mean, it's really not in bad condition. I may be able to get some uh, some aluminum rolled, like my truck has that roll on it, so it'll match the truck, and uh, just rivet it right into place. And uh, I don't know if these are rivets or screws, man. It looks like star bits. So yeah, I'll probably clean this thing up a little bit. But there's a lot of money in jetting and um, you know now that I've got this guy back and uh, I'm just happy today man good things have happened really good things so there was a lot of shit in this trailer that he just was like take it a lot of the stuff is the same shit I was in it eight years ago when I sold them I mean, that sewer tape, that was mine. I put left that there, all of this shit. These hoses, these pipes, that drop cloth. Uh, 
But yeah, these General J3080s, they're fucking top of the line for a portable. It's got a 20 horsepower Honda engine in it, electric start, and it's got that Vibra. It vibrates to get the, uh, you turn this valve right here. And it, and it vibrates. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire it up for you guys. You can see how powerful this thing is, man. I gotta turn the water back on because it goes through a shitload of water. That little tank on the top of it, it don't do nothing. So I've got all the, sh the, the heads and everything, man. Like I said, it's electric start. Just choke it. You'll see the vibration. sounds good man when I when I picked it up man I got it home I unloaded the whole trailer and I'm just looking over the shit and I go to start this thing there's nothing I get it I jump it nothing I hooked the water up, there's nothing coming out of it. So I had to kind of go through hose by hose and clear them, make sure that, you know, because some of these hoses are steel braided on the inside, and eventually you have to replace them because they fill up with rust. Uh, but I went through there, I cleaned the water filter, cleaned the air filter. Uh, the gas smelled really good. Uh, they do have a a valve on these engine on the uh on the pressure pump this little valve right here is designed to bleed off when it gets hot you know and i looked in there and he had a half inch fucking he didn't have that part i bought you know i didn't give them to him i forgot to but i had like 10 of them and he had this stuck in there so there was a chance that he could have overheated that pump Hopefully he was cracking this and just letting a little bit of water trickle out But it also will recirc back to this tank When you're not using it, so it's not not extremely critical that it's flowing all the time It will flow back to that tank uh, But I'm gonna buy a couple of parts and then the main reason why I couldn't get it started Was because they were smart enough to turn the fucking tank the fuel tank off <laughs> so I'm really happy man got my shit back and uh, I sold a lot of stuff that meant a lot to me man it was a uh, it really was just not so much material shit it was a 
a testament to how hard I fucking worked to get where I was, you know. So it meant a lot to me. The day I sold my, the first truck I bought when I went into business, that shit broke my heart, man. I, when I bought that truck, I said to myself, I'll have this truck for the rest of my fucking life. Unfortunately, when I turned 50, that <laughs> I thought that was the rest of my life. And uh, so I sold it, really cheap, man. Fucking F-350 Super Duty with uh, 11 foot utility body on it with a pipe rack with a fucking heavy duty equipment trailer and a uh, 15NX uh, track hoe on it with a uh, water pump, water tank, everything you need to go do a rough in out in the middle of nowhere, you know, had a generator on it. I sold the whole kit and caboodle for 13000 man. Worth way more than that, but I just needed to get rid of this shit, you know? So I was going down the tubes fast. I was circling the drain, and it was speeding up. I was getting closer and closer. But, through the grace of God, and prayer, and a lot of helpful people, I'm still here. And today's a great day, man. I'm happy.